everyone, it's Kristen. Welcome back for another DIY video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make a chunky knit blanket. You've probably seen these blankets around. They're super expensive if you buy them pre-made. Some of them are made with wool. Some of them just regular acrylic yarns, uh, but they're very, very pricey. And if you're like me and you look at that and go, hmm, I think I could do that myself for a lot cheaper, you are right and you're in the right place. This video is for you. I'm gonna be walking you through the steps of how to make your own chunky knit blanket. I picked up some yarn from Michael's each one of these huge skeins was $9.99, plus they were on sale at the time. I think they were 40% off. They commonly have those sales. You can use coupons and stack it, so you can get it super cheap. Um, this is by Loop and Threads, 32 yards per skein. And so all you need is yarn and your hands. You do not need any tools. You don't need to know how to knit. You don't need to know how to crochet. You literally just need your hands, yarn, a flat surface, a pair of scissors is also really helpful too. Uh, other than that, the video is gonna walk you through all the steps. I love to make these for gifts for Christmas. It is the perfect little, like I like to make smaller sizes for like lap blankets, like maybe for someone who's elderly or even just anyone sitting on the couch, you just have a nice little blanket on your lap for when it's cool outside. So. They make awesome gifts. You can also make pillows out of these. I'll have a tutorial that I did in the past in the description box down below. But without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. I promise you it's so simple. Anyone can do it, even kids. Let's jump in. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start by making a loop in our yarn. So, you're gonna take your yarn, wrap it around your fingers like that, we're gonna go into the loop and pull up, making a simple slip knot, just like this. That's the first step. The next step is going to be to make a foundation chain, it's called. So it's very, very simple, but this foundation chain, you're going to want it to be the length of your blanket. So if you want your blanket to be 30 inches long, then make your chain 30 inches long, your foundation chain. If you want your blanket 50 inches long, make it 50 inches long and so on like that. This is basically going to determine the width of your blanket and then how many rows we do up will determine the length of your blanket. So we're starting with our slip knot. The first step to do these, this foundation chain, put our thumb and pointer finger in the loop. We're gonna pull through and make a, a little stitch here, okay? So we're doing it again. We're just gonna repeat that same process over and over until, like I said, we get the length that we want. So this is probably, what, like six inches right now. So we're just gonna keep going, trying to make the stitches as uniform as possible, meaning the same length, the same length of loop all the way down, like I said, as long as you would like for it to be. We have a nice long foundation chain here. And so once we've decided the length that we want it, we're gonna pull out some slack in the yarn here, have it right here for us, and then we're gonna start actually working our stitches in. So, so here's our last stitch. We're gonna skip this one and go into this one here and pull up a stitch just like that. And then we're gonna go into this next one and pull up a loop one by one across. You see what I'm doing? Fingers in, pull up a loop. Like I said, try to make them all uniform. You don't want one to be like this long and the others to be this, you know. Uh, try to get them as similar as you can, because that will give you the most beautiful finished product. So you're gonna go all the way down the line, continue pulling up stitches. All right, so we made it all the way to the end. Now I'm gonna show you how to start on your next row. So we're at the end here. We're gonna move our yarn, kind of the working yarn over this way. We're gonna skip this loop that we just did, and that'll get picked up on our next row. 
And we're gonna move to this one and stick our fingers in and pull up just like we did on our foundation chain. We're gonna do this all the way down. And don't forget at the end here, you want to include this loop in it, just like that, okay? Then we're moving our working yarn this way, and we're gonna repeat the same exact thing for as big as you want your blanket to be. It's completely up to you, depending on how much yarn you wanna buy or how large you want the blanket. It's very important that you don't miss any stitches along the way, so if something's kind of tucked back there, don't want to miss any because it'll mess up the blanket. So you'll have a, um, a stitch that you missed and it'll be pretty obvious when you're done. So just take care to not skip any loops. Should be getting the hang of it by now if you're following along. My little nine-year-old enjoys making these blankets. They're really quite easy. So we go all the way to the end. And now again, we're gonna leave this first loop out and move on to this second loop in and go all the way down. You can do this while you watch television, your favorite movie. It's really quite simple and makes a really wonderful gift, a thoughtful gift. And then we don't wanna leave this loop out. We don't wanna let it get left behind. So we include that one here. And then we go here, leave this one out. And then we start here and go all the way down, just like that. Now, I do wanna show you how to connect skeins of yarn. So let's say you just, you're just you halfway through your blanket and you just ran out of yarn and you're like, oh no, how do I connect it? Well, it's super simple. This is what you're gonna do. Get your new ball of yarn and then the end of your old working yarn, tie a simple knot And your goal is going to be to get the knot to be on the back of the blanket. So for instance, we're going here, I'm gonna kind of tuck that knot in on the back and then begin my loops here. The best that I can, I'll try to get that knot to go on the back. When I'm done with the blanket, I will turn it over and trim the excess. I'll show you, see how this has where I tied the knot. You could do it now if you wanted, but I just like to go back and clean up it, all the ends, um, any pieces that are sticking up on the back of the blanket at the very end. So that's how you add new skeins of yarn. The only other thing you will need to know how to do is how to finish the blanket. So I will show you how to do that next. All right, when you're happy with the length of your blanket, it's time to go ahead and finish it off. So what we're gonna do here is grab two loops, the one on the very end and the second from there. We're gonna grab our working yarn and pull through. So we just have this one loop now. Grab the other loop, so we have two, and pull through both, just like that. Okay, so we finished the end. It should be a nice, pretty edge here. So then the last part is just going to be, we're gonna cut a decent sized little tail for the blanket, and I'm gonna show you how to finish and weave it in. So here's the tail that I cut. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it through like this. And I like to create a little knot here at the end, so I'm just gonna work a, like by taking this and wrapping it around the stitches that are there, 
I'm gonna create a knot just so that way I know it's not going to come undone. And then all you're gonna do is flip your blanket over and just weave this in. I'm gonna cut a shorter tail and I'm just gonna start sticking this in here and there and you won't even be able to tell it's there. Just tuck it in wherever it kind of fits and looks good all the way to the end of it. And like I said, you won't even be able to tell that it's there. So that's all that you need to know to make your chunky knit blanket. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more DIY videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye.